So you want to learn how to be a great dad. Let me help you out with that. Hello, my name is Matthew Hample and I'm very excited to start this new channel um, called The Pastor Dad. Number one, I want you to know that I am not a pastor of a church. Um, I have been in ministry uh, for many, many years. Um, and over the, the time, you will get to know my story. Um, but um, over the past, uh, I would say, year and a half, two years, um, I have come to realize that I am a pastor of my home um, and coming to realize what that looks like. Um, I've been very, very excited about that. Um, I'm shooting down here in, in, in my office, and uh, it's this is where I do a lot of my work. Um, this is where a lot of um, just work in me um, happens of journaling and so on. So, um, so yeah, so welcome to my new channel. Um, but you didn't come here to, to know about me. You came here to answer, uh, try to answer the question of what does it look like to be a great dad? Um, well, here's the number one tip. Are you ready for this? Get your journal out, uh, get a pen and paper, whatever that looks like, your, your, your iPhone notes, whatever it is, get it out, write this down. It's two words. You can't. That's it. You can't. You have to realize at some point in your life that you cannot be a great dad. You just can't. Um, and in the world that we live in, it's this big competition of who's the better dad and, and who, who works harder or, or who plays better with their kids or who disciplines their kids. All of that is absolutely junk because you can't be a great dad. And here's the reason is that number one, you're going to mess up. A lot of dads today, they don't think that they're going to mess up. They think that they are absolutely perfect. Uh, they think that everything that they do is absolutely awesome. Either they they work, you know, 90 hours a week, whatever it is, they'll work 90 hours a week. Um, and because they work those 90 hours a week, they're an awesome dad. Or um, there's dads that, that don't work that much at all. And they they take their kids absolutely everything, every Chuck E. Cheese, every Monkey Joe's, every whatever it is, um, and they think because they're, they spend so much time with their with their kids that they are a great dad, and they don't think that they can mess up. You have to realize you're going to mess up. That's that's one of the number one goals that I have come to learn um, is that you're going to mess up. Number three, I guess number two, sorry, of uh, you can't be a good dad. Uh, number two is. Trust not in yourself. Don't trust yourself. Um, you, it is important to know yourself, but trust in Jesus. Um, that's that's me. When it comes to being a pastor um, of my home, um, a pastor dad, a pastor husband, um, what all of that means, and over time we will learn what that means more and more uh, from a biblical view. Um, but don't trust in yourself. You can't. Why? Because you're going to fail every single time. And if you think that you are absolutely perfect, you're not. And you're going to mess up over and over and over again. So don't trust in yourself. Trust in Jesus and learn from him. Uh, read his word. Grow in his knowledge. Um, and let his word um, grow and challenge and, and mold you to be the best dad that, uh, that he calls you to be. Um, and part of that is also uh, number three is is just be yourself. Um, don't don't change who you are. Um, don't try to be your kid's best friend. Don't don't try to be your kid's uh, most disciplined person. Just be yourself. Like your kids will come to know you. Um, one of the, the things that I want to know um, is that when when I when I pass on is that my kids know who their daddy are who who his daddy was like that's it like they want I want him to know that that I love reading I love Jesus um, you will also find out in in time because um, just over this way um, I have a huge collection of Star Wars toys and Marvel comic book toys and movies and uh, I'm a huge deer hunter and 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 all of that does not change. None of that changes. The only thing that changes um, is my viewpoint of importancy. That's the word. Uh, importancy of where all those things line up. So, um, so yeah. So know that for sure. Um, and the part of that also of knowing yourself um, is knowing your weaknesses. Um, we are, I guess, seven months into having Piper, uh, which you will get to learn who she is over time as well. But uh, I've got two kids. I got uh, Levi, who is six years old, um, and Piper, who is seven months old. 
and uh, and I learned very fast uh, with Piper of what my weaknesses are and so um, so know your weaknesses and again we'll learn a little bit more over time what that means um, but uh, you can't be a good dad just realize that uh, when, you, when you when you google this um, you, you try to figure out what it looks like to be a good dad or maybe even a great dad um, and there's a song that um, I don't know who sings it off the top of my head um, but it's 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 a song called you are a good good father and it's all a song about God um, and that he is a good good father he is you can't be, you're a sinner, um, you're jacked up, and he's not. He's a good, good father. And he has rescued you, he has called you, he has loved you, and in that, you are called to do the same with your family, knowing that you're not perfect and you're not going to be perfect. Those are very important parts. Do not, do not let that just pass by. Hope this helps. Uh, I'm going to try to keep these about five or ten minutes. Um, every I'm going to try to do every week. I'm new to this YouTube deal, uh, but this is something that's been on my heart for a very long time um, to teach, to show, to share uh, what it looks like to be a pastor dad. Um, and a part of it, we're going to have fun at the same time. It's not always going to be serious. It's not always going to be down in the basement. Um, I'm going to take you out on trips with me. Um, I'm going to, uh, I'm a gun guy. I'm a hunter. Um, deer hunting season is just around the corner. Um, so check me out on Instagram. There's a link uh, below for my Instagram. Um, check me out. I'm also on Facebook as well. And uh, I'm, I look forward to uh, many, many conversations with you guys. If you have any thoughts, ideas, comments um, of what it looks like to be a good day, uh, post them below in the comments would love to hear your thoughts and uh, love to uh, to grow with you guys all so there you guys go have a great day uh, and remember most importantly love God love your family and love your neighbors while being a pastor dad